Good morning, modern setters. It's a nice brisk fall morning. 50 degrees out feels perfect. We get to work on the post and beam garage slash barn this morning. I'm excited about that. Good morning, ladies. You still got some food left over from yesterday. You didn't eat it all. Are we feeding you too much? Yeah, it feels good. We get to get back working on the garage today. We had to take a few days off so we could get the homestead ready for pig butchering and then do our pig butchering. And then we had to take care of all of the delicious meat, which is a good feeling to have. It's nice to know. We have a lot of delicious organic pasture raised meat in our freezer. How you doing this morning, mister? Huh? You doing good? Good morning, chickens. morning so we had a mouse set off our alarm in our workshop last night twice not once but twice the first one was what 1 30 in the morning you get the phone call one something and then like quarter or two we get to the phone call so we're gonna have to get this mouse it is war i don't like getting woken <laughs> yeah. up at one o'clock in the morning did you appreciate that i didn't no <laughs> so we're gonna have to set our traps out and see if we can when we can get them did we already get them Maybe we did because there was one in the bucket. There's already one in the bucket? There is one in this bucket. Uh, yeah, he's right there. That guy was not in the bucket yesterday, so maybe after he set the alarm off, he decided to get some peanut butter. So, <laughs> that's a good thing. I'll have to keep an eye on it. Good morning, ladies. You're waiting for something there, Buttercup. Did you hear them when you came down? Yeah. Did you get waiting? Did you get waiting? Okay, put your head in. Go, girl. <laughs> Good morning, girls. You ready for your last day of warm balls in a row? We're missing little P and Maggie. Where are you guys doing? Were you snoozing? Sheesh. You waiting? Come on. Who wants the worm ball first? good that's one of those jobs that can be such a pain or it can go so easy if you can just get your animals to take the dewormer and you don't have to fight it these things come in so handy oh smelly boys you're covered in hay there little man you guys know what I got for you he's gonna get it Caleb, they're gonna eat it on you. There you go. I don't know why they enjoy theirs so much, but they always do. We need a carrot to make our chicken stock with. We're gonna go to the produce aisle to get that. Ooh, it's nice and foggy in here. I'm gonna grab two carrots. One, 
And this looks like another big one. Be good for broth. Two. That'll do. It's only been a few days that we haven't been working on the new post and beam garage, but it feels like it's been longer than that. We need to get into our plans and remember where we are on the build. All right. If you're new to the series, me and my wife Gina have been building a post and beam garage that we bought off the internet from JamaicaCottageShops.com. I'll have the kit in their website linked in the video description down below. You can go back and watch the series from the beginning. There's quite a few videos on it. So we've got all this far done. I'm trying to think, we've got our corner, we have all of our corner trim done. We don't have the batten strips on the rear done. But I don't want to do the batten strips yet. I want to go back. So we've been jumping around. This is what I want to do. I want to trim out our doorways. I was curious to see. So 107s. So we're going to need a bunch of one by stock to trim out our doors with. And then, once we have our doors trimmed out, we can do the rest of our patch strips. Man, I'm getting excited. Once we get the doors trimmed out, once we get the front doors trimmed out, the batten strips up, then I can do some custom work on the new barn stall doors that we're making. Or we can jump ahead and get the gravel here to get the gravel floor put in the barn. I'm thinking, I'll have to call and find out about gravel, but I'm thinking after we have the doors all trimmed out on the front and the batten strips, I can order gravel, get the gravel down and done, and then we can get our barn stall doors built. We gotta trim out that side too. We have to do all this work on the scaffolding because the man lift is gone. If I didn't shoot myself right here the other day, I probably would have had been able to get some of this done, but that didn't happen. So we're gonna need 45, some 71s and a half, and some 80s. One, two. All right, we got some door trim right here. And more door trim right here. One of the things I really like about the kit is it comes with extra material. So if you're fussy like me and every once in a while there's a piece of lumber you don't like, we got extra wood so we can cut the piece that we want. have a piece of temporary bracing from here up to the roof rafters and that was to keep the sidewall pushed out while we were framing it up and getting all the siding and the tin on. Now that this part's all done, this can come out.
There we go. There we go. Get on this side and pop it out. There we go. There, now we got our temporary bracing all down. Whew. Come this winter when the first snow falls, it's gonna be nice to have a place to put all of our equipment to keep it out of the snow and I'll have a place to take my plow off when I need to that'll be out of the snow. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. So we need to start with our top piece first and then we'll do our two upper corners. Then we can come down to our lower uprights. Thinking if we get the stage and set up on this side, get the casing all cased off and then we'll do the trim work and then we'll move over to that doorway and do the same thing instead of going back and forth. in for now and then this one's gonna go like so I want to get a little bit nicer fit so I'm gonna measure and recut both of these so we're gonna be 41 and a quarter I know the workshop is a mess Gino is in the middle of getting all this kindling cut up into kindling the day I shot myself with the nail gun. And then we just have not had a moment since to get back down here. Hoping to get that cleaned up this week. Let's get our first one marked. Right on the money. I don't take the extra minute here to adjust this. I won't appreciate the way it looks later on. measurement seventy-eight. Almost made it an inch too long. That wouldn't have been good.
I think the chicken's going to try to take over the uh, new barn. Little do they know, they're going to be getting locked up in a new winter chicken coop shortly. We're letting them free range while the weather's nice. in a smidge at the very bottom so let's go nail there and there we'll get the clamp and now we will kick the bottom over till it's flush a little bit more. I like that right there. That's nice. Perfect. Nice. I like that. That's This all lined up. We keep working it. So our reveal right here is the same. There we go. I like it. Nice. Now we can do the same thing to the other side. That'd be better. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight Need to go forty one and eight.
That one is perfect. Flush it up down there. I like it. I feel the rain coming. The weather's definitely changing. Flush that up. Right there. Nice and tight. Yep, yeah, perfect. Perfect. I'm loving it. All right, now we gotta kick it over and flush it out. I like it. That's perfect. All right. Now, we can get that trimmed out on the outside. Looks good. Cut it and stick them in. I usually like to quarter it. Peel off um, kind of the outside layer. So I always use some thyme, some rosemary, some peppercorns, and some salt, and bay leaves. And I did purchase rosemary and thyme and bay leaves in bulk because we're always using it and always making stock. This comes in, came in a huge bag. So I have a ton of bay leaves. So I'm gonna throw in a few, a few of them in there because I have enough. I have plenty. Then I'm just gonna set to seal and set this for 60 minutes. And then I let it slow release for at least 20 minutes. My chickens are finding the worms. You can already tell where they've been. Oh, they're searching for the worms after the rainstorm. Yeah. They're no fools. Nope. I don't know. How many eggs do you think? There's going to be 10. 10? If you're going to say 10, I'll say 8. 8. eight. I'm only saying 10 because we've had 10 for the past couple of days. We have. How many eggs do you think? One. Two, four, you can tell it was raining out earlier. Six, seven, eight, ten. Nice. Thank you, ladies.
I lucked out while it was raining out. I was in the house editing. And then as soon as I got time to come out here and do afternoon chores, it had just stopped raining. I knew that because I saw the goats coming out to the hay feeder. The goats won't come out in the rain. Huh, Maggie? I gotta put this fence up because you knocked it over yesterday. Yeah, I saw you out here yesterday eating the trying to eat the chicken's grain. Yeah, that'll keep you out. She says you think it will, won't don't you? You better not knock that fence over today. Ten eggs. Ten, I got right. You were right. How's that hay there, Nora? They're loving it. You like it too, Hope? You're making a mess. Yeah, they are. You're wasting so much of it. You want some eggs, little pea? Huh? I'd laugh if you take a bite out of one. <laughs> you wouldn't like that yolk running down your face, would you? No, she wouldn't. It's starting to rain. And Olivia's chickens gave us two, four, six, seven. I guess I spoke too soon about the rain. I was hoping we were gonna be able to finish the chores before the rain came back, but we didn't. And it's supposed to rain the rest of the night. But it sounds so nice in here. Listen to that. Seven eggs from your flock again. Holy cow. Yeah, they keep all producing the same amount the last few days. Yep. Good thing you got your raincoat on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We got back in the house just in time. It's coming down good now. Just got done editing the video and I don't have any footage of dinner. Sorry about that, but the barn is looking good. I'm excited to get that done. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps YouTube promote our channel more. If you're not already subscribed, now's a great time to hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications. Hope you guys are having some good fall weather wherever you are and you're staying safe from all this tropical weather that we're getting here in the U.S. and wherever you are. So thanks for coming along, and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Are you sunning yourself? Figure out. Say bye to everybody. We'll see you back here in the next video. Bye.